Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of the new save bar. We're jumping in again. This time we're going as Judas and we are going Dark Path again or is that Mother? Yeah, Dark Path or Mother. Um, either one of the two. But we've been uh, having a decent time of going through the characters just one by one. I mean, so far definitely I'm noticing that um, we've just been getting like pretty lucky with our runs. Like our runs have been pretty damn good overall. This was kind of a waste of Book of Belial here, I'll be honest, but... It's done now. What's done is done. Um, but yeah, we've been getting really lucky with our items and stuff. T I mean, Tears Up and Halo Flies off the bat is not bad at all. I think Halo Flies, while it's not a crazy good item because you can get like the flies via pills and stuff, it's still pretty decent. Especially if you get BFF and increase their size a bit. Um, or is it Hive Mind that increases their size? I, maybe it's both. I can't remember. One of the two. Um, but either way, it's, it's, it's good stuff. Okay, let's be careful of this fella. Shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Got a bit of extra money here. A bit of extra money? I don't know why I said money. I, 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 what did I mean? I don't know what I meant there. I'm a kind of... I'm, I'm a bit tired today, I'll be honest. I'm not, like, in the best sorts for um, an Isaac video. <laughs> but I've kind of got other stuff to do today, so I was like, eh, whatever. Well, I guess we're going Angel now, uh, based on getting that. That will be a good idea. Um, but yeah, I've, I've, uh, been playing a bunch of Baldur's Gate. I've been liking it a lot. Um, I kind of spoke about it in a previous episode. I can't remember if I've spoken about it since I started playing. I think I have. Uh, but anyways, I've been playing it a bit more and I've been really enjoying it. And it's been, it's been fun, like, discovering the game and learning more about D&D 5th Edition, which I, I didn't really know. Um, and, like, it's, it's just been an interesting sort of process because I've had to really, like, learn quite a lot about um about DD &D pretty quickly to understand how things work like i understood some stuff about like initiative rules and like different um like sort of skill checks uh, for certain like di um dialogue and things like that i knew about all that stuff but like combat wise i was pretty in the dark about how best to approach combat um and i've been getting better at it uh we got ourselves the emblem um I guess I'll go this way and see if a mother run is something that would be plausible uh, before we decide to go dark path. But we'll just see what we end up getting because so far this is a decent run. We also got boiler. Apparently you always get planetarium chance when you go to the boiler because of how the mod works. Basically the floor is kind of like a fakey floor um, and you actually end up going to catacombs um, instead of it replacing... A floor that already exists, which would be downpour. It's weird. I don't, I don't know exactly what they meant by that. I don't know exactly how it works, but apparently it's something along those lines. Yeah, don't get in that body, please. Thank you. Crack this bad boy open. Like, at the minute, our item choices have been very, very good. I'm liking that. I'll, I'll check out whatever this is. I'll see. It was as nice. Um... But yeah, as for the question of the day, I'm just going to keep it basic today. What is something that you've done over the weekend? I'm taking them all, baby. I literally ended up on the same money I started with, I think, or less. That was not great. But hey, her. it was a crawl space. It has been a crawl space. Okay, I really like the music on this floor. It's so, like, smooth jazz sort of-esque. I really like that. Right. Let's just go straight in for the boss. This guy's not too bad, especially with piercing. Okay, this guy's insanely easy with piercing. My goodness, we destroyed him. And we get double tiers up and a speed up here. I'm pretty happy with that. Of course, we're going to go angel chance here because we've got the rosary. Also, our health just doesn't really permit anything else. Um... Good. Just trying to do the rest of the floor here to get potentially a soul heart, but mainly just consumables like keys and stuff. Uh, I'll try this out. It's a bit of a risk because these chests can be a bit naff. That's kind of good. Um, I think I'd probably rather stick with a rosary overall. Um, rosary's 50% extra chance for angels, so I think that's slightly better. Um, but I am certainly tempted by a vibrant bulb because it does we, we like we don't use our book that often so we're gonna it's gonna be in effect like a good amount good 
good. Quickly check in here for a soul heart. It's not likely, but you gotta check. Right, down to the next floor we go. Down to the next floor we go. Decent floor. We got really, really good damage so far. Like, actually insanely good damage. Um, it's kind of ludicrous. I love it. I'd probably be willing to trade out my active if the opportunity arose. Okay, I see. Got him. Right, try to use that angel chance here. Boom. Ba -dun, ba -dun, ba -dun. Probably not the right room to use this in. It's done, it's done. Yeah, I thought there would be bigger enemies in this room. My bad. Oh, I didn't even need to use the uh, the golden button there. But yeah, I'm, I'm def definitely in the mood for Isaac right now. I, like I said, I've been, I go through phases of like feeling it and not feeling it. This is a risk, but I'm going to take it. Yes, I got fi fire rate down. That's kind of fine. Oh, dude, no. I was stood in a really bad spot there. I mean, I might die here. That'd be pretty awful. I didn't realize I was stood like that close to him. I was kind Realistically, I'll be honest, I was kind of hoping experimental treatment would give me HP. Oh, dude, come on. Hey, we got him. Yeah, I was kind of hoping it'd give me HP and it didn't. But our Angel Chance is not in a great spot right now anymore. Fine, though. And we are one hit away from death, so that's also not ideal. Check the secret room here. Looks pretty likely. Good bit of stuff there. I did just throw away both my bombs, which I would have needed for the alt path if I was going to go that way. So I guess we're not going that way now. Uh, oof. Yes, I'll be taking that. Thank you. I'm a little ghosty. Stop being a prick. Um, Shop-wise, is there a red heart available? No, there isn't. There is a pill, though. Gamble on a pill. Hey, half a heart. That makes me happy. Doubles our keys. I'll hold that for now. Okay. Unfortunately, no bombs left for this guy, but this is Min Min that is very, very easy because of piercing. There you go. Very nice. We will leave that there for a hot second. Um, That's not very good, right? I don't know how good that is. I'm going to take a real big risk here. Yeah, take both and see if it gives me damage up. It did. Okay, down we go. I was I was like, I don't know if this is going to give me the damage up that I'm looking for, but I want to try it. We haven't seen item room yet. Wow, okay. Um, But now I have a damage down multiplier, so I'm not going to gain as much damage over the course of the run for the rest of the run when I get damage ups. But our damage right now is pretty spicy. Good. Juicy Sack. Yeah, we'll take Juicy Sack. That's actually pretty good because we would have just got piercing otherwise. And we already... The speed upgrade would be nice, but we already have piercing. So I'm pretty happy with what we took there. I'm just going to go regular path and do dark path, I think, now. Seems to be the best choice. Right, let's go. But yeah, we got um, the molding clay item, modeling clay, whatever you want to call it. It's absolutely insane in how good it is. We gained um, Freezer Baby and some sort of bomb item. Poison bombs or something. The longer we can keep our Zealot Hearts alive, the happier I'll be. What was that Angel Chance on that last floor, by the way? I think I got an Angel Chance with like 12% there, didn't I? 
That's kind of wacky. I'll just use this now. Fuck it. Hey, Randy the Snail will take... Uh, do you know... I'll be honest, I'm kind of bummed at myself that I didn't duplicate Randy the Snail there. Randy the Snail is a pretty fun one to duplicate. We got the Steven floor as well. Um, I'm not going to take that yet because that is definitely in the camp for duplication. That is definitely something that I could see myself duping. I love the noises Randy makes. He's such a, a noisy little fucker. Come on, spider. Let your little child out. Thank you. Don't care for that. Don't care for that. Right, good, good. Secret room is looking here for me. It's not, okay. Probably shouldn't have wasted my single bomb on it then. Oh, well. It'll be fine. We'll get through it. Ah, oh, I could have used my bomb here. That would have been better. Right, check in here. Um, again, another place I could have used my bomb. Nothing I can steal here. God damn it, bomb, come back to me. I didn't mean to use you in such a stupid place. I goddamn didn't mean it. Ah, come on, Penny. Juicy Sack honestly gives me way more spiders than I give it credit for. Holy hell, I'm getting so many. Pop your head up, you freak. Right. I got Randy, like, proper stuck there. Randy the snail was just wailing on him. Right. Nice and easy kill there. Angel deal again, please. Nah, no angel deal. Um. Yeah, I think we'll duplicate that. Got a ton of shot speed and a good bit of fire rate. Absolute ton of shot speed. It's beautiful. Right. Whack your head up, sir. Good. good. Yeah, this is a really good run. We're just getting really lucky on our runs recently. These runs we've been doing to, like, go through all the characters have just been pretty goddamn good. Only one champion, eh? He is big dead. What's a red hearts about? And we keep it moving along. I like having freezer baby right now as well. And we kept both of our zealot hearts as well, which means extra stuff. But yeah, we will go to the Stephen floor here because I do have a few items that I'd be willing to trade. I I'll be honest, not a lot of them, but there's a few there that if I lost, I wouldn't be completely uh, upset about. Grab that. A fez, really? Not sure how out of style that is, but I hope you don't leave a bad aftertaste. And we get to hear the beautiful music on this floor as well. Oh, we got the XL floor, XL glitch again. If you get an XL floor on this floor, things get a little bit wacky. The game doesn't really like it. Basically, you get to do an extra floor's worth of stuff. Kind of. Uh, there ain't no way in hell. That I'm giving you this. Okay. Taken care of. A little, a little bit slow going here. I forgot to check what other uh, wisp items we got. We got Robo Baby and some sort of like lung or something. Got him. I love the fact that you can just walk through. Oh, Randy's stuck. Do you see that then? That was, that was crazy. Randy, get over here. Start doing your thing. Okay, you dead. You are big dead. But yeah, I don't know if you get more of the little dudes if it's an XL floor or not. I think you do. There's a lot going on here. Try and take care of these guys first. Is that everything dead? That's everything dead. Good, good, good. Yeah, I don't know if we get more of the trading guys if it's an XL floor. I pr I would presume so. 
all the spiders. But yeah, the bosses get a bit strange. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? He's lifting them up. I don't like that. Don't lift up those boys. We need a uh, spectral. Spectral would really help. Hey, loving more bombs. More bombs is my jam. We need to also find the secret room to find the shop, which is a little harder on XL floor because we've got a little bit more to search through. But we can steal items from the shop with this, so I don't, it doesn't really matter about not having money. Oh, that's a good one to trade. Uh, black card. Yeah, I guess black card's pretty decent. We will take black card. Stealing from the shop. Kind of nice. Especially when I just when I was just saying about being able to afford stuff from the secret room shop on this guy, it makes that more plausible. Good. I wish I'd have duplicated Randy now. He's such a good fella, it would have been fun. To see him. Bouncing around with his best friend. Ooh, that was a, a bad loss of a... Of an extra thingy purple heart there. Zealot heart. It wasn't great. I kind of bungled that a little bit. It's okay, though. We've still got one left. We're still thriving. Still doing well. Oh, God. All the shots are everywhere. I can't focus. Okay, with piercing, this guy really isn't so bad at all. Yeah, not too bad at all. Nice one. That was, so sometimes those guys spew out like a thousand spiders. Sometimes it's like one. Yeah. That wasn't so bad. Okay, gotta wait for the spikes real quick. Oh, that had uh, pills. I was like, that had nothing in it, but it was pills. Can have that. Not really something I want, sadly. It's an active item. Don't give me active items. And I've already got the best active item plausible. Okay, I lost. I'm losing a lot of my lemma getting wisps here. It is what it is. Good. Loads of these guys about. Oh, uh, these are the ones that turn other enemies into themselves. Yeah, they're just creating them all over the place. Got there in the end. Getting a good amount of money here. Might not even need to use the uh, black card to buy stuff for free. My character looks so funky right now. Look at my little face. Do your little explosions, you. Oh god, the last one shoots. I forgot about that. Not much in there for us. Can we regain this zealot heart back up to full, please? That would be nice. God, I've got to kill this thing before it fucking fills my entire screen with shots. This butler guy is kind of a problem, too. Oh, the last one did still shoot. Okay, I was like, it didn't shoot, but it did. It got there in the end. Right, what we got here? Do you know what? I'll retrade it. Unfortunately, yet again, we got an active item. That's kind of a bummer. I really wish those things couldn't give actives. Like, if I give it an active, it should give me an active. But if I don't give it an active, don't give me an active back. Like, that's just a bit rude. Okay. King boy here. Not so bad. Oh, that was weird. I don't know what really happened there. That's kind of confusing. And then we got these little fellas. Yeah, we're kind of bl blitzing through everything at the moment, but I'm still looking for good trades regardless. I still want good trades, man. Hey, extra burn heart there. That's nice. 
Yeah, that guy threw, threw up no spiders whatsoever. This guy threw up two. Oh, we've lost all of our zealot uh, hearts now. Let me get in heart. Uh, let me get in wisp. Sorry. They're all gone. I think this this floor has like an additional chance for fool's gold rocks to make sure you have enough money for the secret room by the looks of it. Ow. Zealot heart is gone. Right, let's grab this strength card. Let's go and do our bosses, and then we'll come back and try and find secret room. Oh, we have we have actually seen the boss already. I want to do these last few rooms to check. Sadly, I don't think we did get uh, more trading guys because of uh, it being an XL floor. I don't think it made a difference. Right. There was one trading guy I could go and bomb, I guess. Right. Let's see how this goes. But again, with piercing, this guy's not too bad at all. We can attack multiple segments at once, and it does quite a lot of damage. There you go. We get ourselves this, which is... I'm not going to take yet, because that's definitely something I could duplicate. And we fight the same boss again, because it's an XL floor, and the game doesn't know what to do. Ow, I got hit. This time we get all of this. Um, I want the negative. I want to go in here. Unfortunately, not great stuff here. I think I'm going to take two of this guy. We've got Seraphim. Um, quickly go back through here. Take that. And back over here. And... We could take Contagion. We've done boss rush, haven't we? We have done boss rush. I'll take contagion. Why not? We pop our strength card here. Yeah, like I, I don't know how good the godhead babies are, but having two of them seems pretty decent. Yeah, they seem to be doing pretty good damage. And the herming and stuff as well, which is quite nice. This will take us a little while here, but I think it's okay. Good, good, good. Randy the snail, get in there. Start bouncing around doing your thing. Obviously, piercing is making this a better as well. Dude, Randy, it's such a big room, I can't like keep him in the mix all the time. Slightly annoying. But yeah, I think we get the ability to get a Polaroid and a negative here, or like double negative if we want. A bit kooky when the XL floor gives us this. Oh god damn it. A bad hit. Now we just need the thing that makes familiars fire faster. Unfortunately we have to deal with Kingpin here. Luckily he wasn't that bad to deal with. Don't try and whip me. Okay, we're good. I destroyed these rocks here, so we've got a clear path to shoot everything. Honestly, yeah, having these these cherub babies, whatever they're called, really good. They clearly know what they're doing. I love having this shot speed. Really nice. Oh, careful the explosives. Oh, God damn it. For some reason, I just completely forgot this guy existed. Get out of here. I don't know how far we are through this so far, but probably not very. I'm going to lose a lot of health along the way, but I'm not particularly worried about it right now. There you go, you're spawning a baby and another baby. Don't worry, we pierce right through and kill him straight away. But yeah, after this, I'm going to go and play some more Baldur's Gate. I've had some really wacky encounters in that game so far. That game has like... So much goddamn freedom, like, it, it really does let you do whatever you want. Um, and also as well, have you seen how well it's doing? It's, it's like the 8th most played game on Steam ever. 
like, concurrent players. It's had, like, 700,000 concurrent players. It's absolutely crazy. I, I, like, I knew it was a big game and a big release, but I thought it would, like, be a kind of sort of niche audience. I didn't think it'd be, like, have a, an absolutely massive audience. Um, I thought it'd be, like, mainly sort of the D&D fan base. But then again, I'm trying it, and I've, uh, I've not really played much D&D myself, so I'm guessing there's just many people like myself that are getting into it for the first time. Um... And, uh, yeah, I gotta say that, like, I, I, I was playing uh, yesterday, and I was walking past this barn, and it was like, there was loads of noise in it, so I was like, okay, I'll go check that out. And I walk in, and there's this, like, 20-foot, like, troll banging this orc, like, they were having sex in there. And, I, like, they got really annoyed that I stumbled in on them, um, and they, they tried to kill me, and I had to kill them, and it was, it was bizarre. It was bizarre. I also found a dog and then had the skill, like, speak with animals. This, this is one thing that is absolutely insane. So there's a speak with animals spell um, that you can cast. I, I wouldn't really call it a spell, more of a power. But anyways, there's a speak with animals thing. And not everyone has access to it, like, unless you have, like, specific equipment later down the line. But early game especially, not everyone has access to it. Um, but yet, literally every single animal in the game has spoken dialogue recorded just in case you use this spell. Like, that's a nuts amount of extra work that, that like, only a fraction of the people are going to see. Um, and so I've been, like, speaking to all the all the different animals and stuff. It's been kind of interesting. Um, right. Keep on going. Yeah, it's been kind of interesting. So we went down to the womb there, but it won't take us to the womb. <laughs> we basically got to do an extra extra boss, and I think that means we get to do an extra boss rush, technically. If we would have made it back in time... We technically would have been able to do two boss rushes, which is really strange. A hey, good bit of contagion going on there. I like it. Oh, I never, I never went back and found secret room. My bad. That is very much my bad. Uh, whatever. We're, we're, we're powerful enough. We're powerful enough. Ooh, contagion's doing a decent job right now. I'm glad I took contagion. Contagion is one of those items that on some rooms and, like, obviously bosses, it's just useless. But otherwise, it can be pretty good. Oh, that didn't blow that up. Are you kidding me? I thought that would just about reach it. Oh, dude, I want you to dash into that so I could open up the thing and get the Nurse Goblin. God damn it, game. Hey, tears up. Hello. I will most certainly gobble you up. Alright, let's keep it going. It's a pretty big tears up, actually. Keep it moving and grooving. Yeah, I'm definitely going to play more of it today. I'm really, really enjoying it as a game. It's just... It just seems like an absolute insane, insane amount of effort went into making it. Another tears up. Wow. Um... Bookworm, nice. Dude, the tears ups were getting a really big. Empress, I'll take. Thank you. Got planetarium chance again here. Kind of strange, but I'll accept it. Okay, nice. Dude, we are wrecking through everything right now. I'm loving the setup we got going on. Honestly, pills have been so good to us, I'm just going to take all of them. Uh, uh, do you know, why does puberty give the negative pill effect sound, and are you a wizard gives the positive? Really should be the other way around. Um... Familiar that moves diagonally? Okay, unfortunately, not something we want to duplicate. But we did get conjoined. That's pretty good for us. Although that tears down pill is now gone. My tears are moving in wacky directions here. What is, what is going on? That's not the try shot pattern you'd normally get, right? Weird. Pop the Empress, why not? Beautiful. We can take double negative. Nice.
Um, and I guess double pride pin. I don't think having two of them probably does anything, but there you go. Keep her going, keep her going. But yeah, we've been able to get some extra stuff this time around. It's been nice. Yeah, we definitely got a winner run here. And we got an XL womb. That's so nice. Dude, whoa, 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 whoa. Why on occasion do I fire an absolutely giant tear? Is that something to do with pride pin? I'm going to guess it is. Yeah, pride pin's going to give us some good stuff. Pride pin's always pretty good. Now, going the right way on an XL floor womb is virtually impossible. So we'll see how well I do. Oh, I do want more keys, please. Like this, this, this little room here clearly isn't going to be the right way, but... I will check it out just in case. Wow, it was. Holy shit. That was the quickest I've ever got through an XL womb, I think. Holy shit. Contagion plus this boss plus everything else that's going on there. That was nuts. That's decent. I'm going to save that there for now to see if I want to duplicate it. Oh, really? You got this attack going... I'm just letting my rubber baby absorb all the shots. Yeah, we'll go and duplicate that then. We've done hush, haven't we? Yes, we have. No point doing it then. We'll be fine. We got a bunch of speed out of that, didn't we? Nice, we did. Yeah, th this this molding clay thing is just so good. It's it's a really good um it's a really good active just because it's uh, like lets you steal stuff and get extra items, which is insane. Like getting one extra item per floor is really good. But the fact that there's a bunch of items in this game that have effects when you get two of them at once makes it even better. Ooh, nice. I'm just going to try and kill him through the, uh, I don't want to bother going to get that key. My laser buddy's doing quite a lot at the minute. Good, good. I think we're going the right way here. It seems like it. Nope, sadly not. Sadly, I was wrong. It very much seemed like it was the right way, but you never really know with this game. It can screw you over sometimes. Yeah, I do have a skip card prepared for the uh, Mega Certain fight. Uh, sorry, the regular Certain fight. I'm not doing Mega Certain this run. Ow. Oh god, it's Bee Boy. Oh, he actually he gave me a bunch of bees, but I think that was actually just from my item and just like happened to happen. Okay, nine lives there. We don't have any of the guppy items. I don't think that's worth taking. Yeah, so we. Come over here. Kill this guy. Wait until the health bar pops up. Skip. Beautiful. That works out pretty nicely. Void. I don't think we've done Void as this guy yet, but we can't bother with it right now. We definitely could do Void, though, if it was offered to us again, I think. Devil's Dagger, Brimstone. Brimstone. Kind of intriguing one. I think we will take Brimstone. Yeah, I think I think that is overall more damage. It's hard to tell because like I already had piercing and stuff. But I think I think it to, to bosses and stuff it is doing more. Oh dude! I'm such a dumbass. I could have doubled Brimstone. I could have taken tw two Brimstones and doubled it. I didn't even think about that. I, f I forgot that you can steal Devil Deals with it. That was a real big goof of mine. That that makes me upset. That's a hella big goof. A hella big goof.
We'll get over it eventually. We'll get over my mistakes. Very upsetting. Okay, we found our boss pretty quick here. At least it's only for one floor. If that had happened earlier on, and I'd had to go the whole run without my double brimstone, it'd have been pretty sad. Okay. Good old Giga bombing. No thank you on the victory lap. I probably should have done the victory lap, actually. I need to do that at some point to unlock the gulp pill. Either way, hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh! Nice. All right, see you guys in the next one. Bye.